Case, how are we this morning? I'm doing well, Dan. How are you? Doing okay. I want to know the difference in morale now at 3-1 and one, as opposed to when you came into the building at 0-1. Oh <laughs> uh, well, you could say... Um, you could say it's a lot different, and uh, anytime you win win a game in this league, it's a big deal. But winning three in a row is uh, is obviously pretty tough, especially when there's two on the road. So we're we're all pretty excited. Uh, but you know, we got a new challenge ahead of us. Got the Bills coming in, and uh, you know they they've got things going too as well. So uh, they they've won two in a row. We've got some we've got some work to do. What's uh, what did you think was going to be the reaction to the Rams in Los Angeles, and what has been the reaction? You know, I, I really had no idea. You know, I, I think I'd only been here one other time. So, uh, you know, I haven't really experienced the uh, the L.A. lifestyle, you could say. But uh, I don't know. I heard different people say different things. One one writer said, hey, well, uh, we didn't really invite you here, Rams, but uh, you better entertain us. <laughs> uh, so I was like, well, okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. If I walked around with you in Hollywood, is anybody recognizing you? Uh, there's a pretty good chance no. Um, now, I haven't walked around much in Hollywood, um, so I, I couldn't speak for experience. But, what if uh, you're wearing your full uniform? You know, there's, I would say, just the, the amount of people dressed up there, <laughs> they might just think, you know, part of the crowd, I guess. Yeah, it, I, I didn't know how guys were going to react. You go from St. Louis and that city to Los Angeles. I mean, those are contrasting cities in styles as well. So I didn't know. Has, what's been the toughest thing to get used to aside from the traffic? Yeah, it's traffic for sure. Uh, uh, you know, aside from that, um, the travel. We've been traveling quite a bit just just to uh, just to get on a plane to go to Arizona. Um, you know, we're driving into LAX. And, um, you know, being up here where we are, you know, close to Cal Lutheran and Thousand Oaks, um, it's it's a trip in itself just to get to the airport. But, uh, you know, the family's coming in and traveling in. I would say just, just to travel. I mean, it's it's a, the the West Coast is a long ways away from everything else in the country, it seems like. He's uh, Case Keenum of the L.A. Rams joining us. By the way, your Houston Cougars doing well. They're doing all right. Coach Herman's got them going. Are you nervous you're going to lose, Coach Herman? Uh. I mean, you're always nervous when you got a coach like that that uh, that's got the guys going really well. I think uh, I think he's got some really good things uh, going in his contract for you know if we wind up in a bigger con- in a bigger conference and uh, um, you know just just the way he's got those boys thinking is uh, the culture has changed. Um, they expect to win um, and they're playing hard and it's been fun to watch. So um, you know, Coach Kerman. Herman's a really, really, really good dude. He's, he's reached out to a lot of the former players, too. So uh, we're all really excited about him and hope uh, hope he stays there a long time. Well, we had uh, backup quarterback Sean Mannion on, and uh, he says that he watches our show in the quarterback meeting room. Is that true? Yeah, Sean's a big fan. Uh, we all are. Uh, I, know, I noticed you guys caught him wearing his uh, – uh, wearing his T-shirt Flinch, there yeah. on, on Hard Knocks. Flinch ball T-shirt, yes. Do you need yeah, some T-shirt? Yeah. We did send him a whole bundle of t I don't know if he shared. He doesn't strike me as the guy I, who's going to share. He didn't. I, I, I didn't get a one. Wow. So maybe you'll have to send one, and we'll. I'll make sure that Jared gets some too. Yeah, Jared needs a little pick-me-up. So if we can get some T-shirts <laughs> there to help that get that guy do uh do okay there all right help morale there That'd with Jared going. yeah we'll, we'll do that <laughs> and and I, I would think at three and one and a home game against the Bills you might get some of the Hollywood celebrities has anybody been on the sidelines so far you know the first game we had uh we had a few it seemed like you'd look up at the at the uh, screen and there'd be somebody up there uh I think LeBron was on the sideline um I mean the Chili Peppers played uh before the game which was I mean, this is awesome. Uh, James Gordon, Dance with the Cheerleaders or something. He's like the late, late, uh, yeah. late, late show guy. Um, CeeLo Green sang the national anthem. So um, I'm sure there was other people there, but uh, uh, I was I was trying to concentrate a little bit. It's <laughs> kind of hard with all the people walking around, but I was trying to. You know what I'm thinking? 
Can I send you a T-shirt of McLovin? McLovin broke his glasses on the show when he was spinning the ball. He was going to play against the Harlem Globetrotters. So then we made a T-shirt of a pair of broken glasses. If we send you a T-shirt after your next win, is it asking too much to maybe show up at the press conference with that T-shirt on? You can wear a sport jacket on top of it. Though, yeah, you can. It does. It go. Yeah, a sport coat does Ooh. go well with the with that. Casual, casual, and classy. Yes. Um, you know, I, I think uh, I think it only fitting, man. Just just with all those drills that McLovin and I ran in the off season, you know, just show me show me how to dodge defenders and uh, you know really really keep my eyes downfield when I'm when I'm spinning around in the backfield. Are you crediting McLovin for helping the Rams jump out to a three and one start? You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give him all the credit, but uh, hmm. you know, there's a big part that uh, you know I think he played in uh, in getting us going for sure. Yes, McLovin. I mean, to be fair, it was it was Case and me. It was us. It wasn't all. You know, I don't want all the credit. I want to share it with my teammates. Hmm. Well, there you go, Case. <laughs> so, McLovin's not taking yeah, all the just, credit. Well, that's good. I think uh, anybody that's my my third favorite sports illustrated writer would. Uh, would 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 be would do that for sure. Okay, well that's that's top. He's in the top three. So who's who's one and two? Oh, Peter King. Oh, uh, yeah. Peter King is. Sure. I mean, yeah. You got to go there. Yeah. And I met. Um. I met. I, I went and toured the Sports Illustrated offices a couple of years ago, and I met somebody. I forgot. I forgot his name, but he's second. So and then, the guy. Uh, McLovin's third. <laughs> the guy's name you don't know is second, and McLovin is third on that list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did your uh, wife like being on Hard Knocks, being featured? You know, she she was hesitant at first, but uh, you know, the producers did a really good job of uh, of showing her and uh, you know of of letting her kind of do her thing. So um, when they asked her to start calling plays, um, they had heard we did that before. Yeah. Um, we thought that was kind of interesting, but it, it wound up pretty cool. I mean, we we uh, we got some good reaction from it. A lot of people enjoyed it, and uh, they pretty much think my wife's a, a bad A, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> well, congrats. Three and one start. We'll uh, get a shipment of uh, T-shirts out there for you, and um, I'm glad that McLovin, maybe McLovin can move up to number two on your uh, Sports Illustrated writers list, Case. We'll see. We'll see. It's a long season. All right. Uh, congrats so far. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you having me. All right, that's Case Keenum, Rams quarterback. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.